Hi everyone, uh, this is Mohammed again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the move base node or move base uh, package in ROS to do uh, path planning and control uh, in the simulated environment. So at, as what we usually do, I'll open a terminal and I'll start our same launch file with the same uh, options we have from the previous video but I'm going to add uh, one extra option so the options we have from the previous video are basically the AMCL and map server option and the map file we created uh, the option I'm going to use now <coughs> is the move base move base option underscore a so that will be set to true and then enter so what this move base option is uh, uh, it's basically allowing me to start uh, all the needed plugins for path planning and control yes so uh, if we go now to Arvis we will see that our Arvis is starting with the configurations we set in the previous uh, video and uh, Actually, I need to run the teleob node again so that I get a good conversions for the AMCL before doing anything extra. So I'm going to open a new tab in the terminal, Control shift t and then paste my uh, ROS run teleob command, and then I'll hit Enter. So now I'm going to just drive my robot Uh, until all the uh, particles are converged to the current position of the robot this looks good all right so let's go go back to our uh, move base node uh, I think I'm not going to use this again so I'm gonna just kill this node with control C all right so let's go back now to our move base node so our uh, so our objective now is to uh, make this robot move autonomously from its current location to any other location in the map and uh, move base actually allows us to do that and uh, the nice thing in ARV is that we can set the goal position using this uh, button here so this button publishes to the uh, uh, goal location that move base uses and move base will create a local and global uh, plan uh, so that the robot can ro follow this plan and reach the goal so we can do that by simply clicking on the 2d navigation goal and then we set on the map a goal to go to then we will see our robot starting to move towards this goal until it eventually uh, takes the position and orientation of the goal but so far we can't visualize everything or we can't e exactly visualize what's happening so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, like visualize the plan and the goal location for you so in, in order to do that uh, I'll go to add and then I'll start by adding a footprint for the robot so the footprint for the robot is basically uh, under polygon so I'm just gonna change the display type from polygon to I mean just the name uh, from the word polygon to robot footprint and this display type will be subscribed to the local map or local map footprint uh, of the robot so you will notice this uh, rectangle that is underneath uh, the current position of the robot so let us like for our purposes in this video let me uh, like take out the AMCL particles yeah so here's the footprint so we can change actually this uh, the color of this uh, footprint to let's say some dark blue color yeah here you go so here's my robot and its footprint 
basically the footprint is the projection of the, of the, ro of the robot on the floor okay that's good what else we need to visualize we also need to visualize the goal position of the robot so when we set the goal uh, we actually see uh, the, the, this goal marked in the map so I'm going to add uh, a display type pose yes here and I'm gonna change its name to uh, current goal then okay and this current goal will subscribe to the uh, current go goal topic in move base right so now if we make a new goal for the robot we will see it marked on the on the map and we will actually see the robot moving to the ro uh, to the goal uh, position so what I would like to visualize now is the global plan and the local plan uh, that the move base is doing to the robot right so uh, I'm going to add two paths so the first path is going to be my local plan so I'm gonna change this uh, uh, the name to uh, local plan this is the local plan that the robot is following and uh, I'm gonna add another path and the other path, path name is going to be uh, global plan so now we'll set the topics to which uh, these uh, paths are subscribing to so the local plan will be subscribing to the uh, move base tab local plan or ROS local plan this is the local plan and yes and the global plan will be subscribing to the global plan topic good so now if we change the goal position so yeah we will see these two lines so I just want to distinguish between the two like in terms of color so I'll make the local plan I don't know dark green oops and the global plan uh let's say i don't know this color brown or something yes yeah so when we change the goal position we will see our robot going to this uh goal position with uh, the local plan and global plans uh highlighted okay uh the l uh, one more thing that i would like to uh, visualize here actually which is the uh, uh, robot position or the planned robot position along the local plan this actually can be visualized under the display type uh, pose array and we will make this one subscribing to the uh, tab poses tab, tab is actually the local planner uh, plugin we're using in move base uh, tab is like a time elastic band uh, local planner that generates the local plan uh, for the robot to follow right uh, yeah so let's see how it looks like now so, yeah so these little arrows along the local plan are the plan poses the robot should take so that it reaches its goal all right so this looks good but uh, there's one more thing that we want to visualize here so uh, we can actually visualize the laser scan of the robot but what about uh, the inflation of this laser scan because inflation uh, will actually the inflation of this laser scan will be actually the obstacles my uh, planner would like to avoid so I just want to visualize that so I'll go to add and then I'll add a cost map or a map and I'm going to call it uh, local cost map right and I'll make this cost map subscribing to uh, the local cost map topic this one here and its color scheme is following a cost map color scheme so as you can see here so this is my laser scan and this is the inflated area around it so that uh, uh, like this inflation means that this part of the map is basically an uh, obstacle so uh, 
whenever I want to change the position of the robot I think I made a mistake yeah guys so I think I made a mistake but uh, like I changed the initial 2d pose estimate instead of the 2d navigation goal so in order to recover from this problem I'm going to call the global localization service and uh, let the AMCL yeah so now I'm going to rerun the teleop keyboard then I'll open new terminal sorry about that guys so then I'll go ROS service call summit global localization yes so if I go here and visualize the pose array we will see our particles spread all over the map so I'm going to teleop my robot until uh, the robot is hopefully at its correct position so let's see how this works yeah I see some conversions there that's good and yeah so it's good that this happened I mean in the sense that if this happens to you you know what to do actually so I basically did what we learned from the previous uh, tutorial yeah yeah so now now I think I have a good uh, pose estimate of the robot again so hopefully we don't do this mistake again so I'm going to disable the teleop node and I'm going to disable the visualization of the particles right so if I set the like a new goal position yeah now we are getting our move base node uh, like working properly and we can visualize the local and global uh, plans and of course the the cost map the local cost map right so uh, we will notice actually two things now the first thing we notice is that the local planner is giving like slow uh, uh, like motion for, uh, commands to the robot so that's something we want to fix and also uh, when the robot is arriving at its uh, like goal position it it doesn't get the exact goal position and orientation that we want it to be so this means that we need to fix some parameters um, in the local planner so that our robot can move faster and at the same time uh, like arrives as close as possible to our goal so in order to do ch to change these uh, tolerances and configurations uh, we will simply run the RQT reconfigure uh, node from uh, RQT reconfigure uh, package so I'll go right ROS run RQT underscore reconfigure rqt underscore reconfigure node so once I hit enter I'll wait for a couple of seconds yeah until the configuration or reconfiguration uh, like application starts and the uh, the node that we actually want to change its reconfiguration is the local planner uh, this one here so when we set on when we like select it we'll see that there are many options that we can set uh, for this uh, uh, like uh, node here but the most important ones for me or for our purposes now is the robot one and the goal tolerance so the goal tolerance here we're setting tolerance for position error and tolerance for the uh, yaw angle error or the orientation error so I'm going to reduce this to five centimeters of positional error and uh, 0.05 radians in the uh, like uh, orientation error and I'm going to set the maximum speed of the velocity at uh, the maximum speed sorry of the robot that the robot can take so let's set this to 
2.5 meters per second the same for the backwards uh, velocity 2.5 meters and uh, I'll leave the accelerations as they are like for uh, uh, linear velocity and angular velocity and I'll, I'll increase the uh, rotational speed a little bit I'll make it one radian uh, per second or let's say two radians per second uh, and also since our robot is omnidirectional we can increase the uh, mo uh, speed in the uh, y direction and the same for acceleration but I'm just gonna increase the speed to, to just two meters per second right so now when we go back to our our robot so when we set a new navigate a new like goal to it so we hopefully now get our robot move faster and that's what is happening it's moving faster to the goal and hopefully it arrives at a better uh, like uh, position with respect to the goal position and orientation so we hope that the robot now uh, like gets a better position accuracy and orientation accuracy. yeah so this, this is what we see now so the robot is as is as close as possible so that if we look at the footprint so the center of the robot is as close as possible to the uh, beginning of the arrow and the orientation of the robot is almost aligned with our uh, arrow here of course we can uh, change the tolerances to something that is uh, like better for our application yeah so uh, we don't want to forget to save the configurations just save config yes yes guys so I think that's it for me uh, like for this video and that's it actually uh, uh, that's actually how to use uh, the navigation stack uh, how to generate map uh, how to do localization and how to use uh, move base uh, to get our robot uh, autonomously moving uh, and avoiding obstacles as well so in terms of avo avoiding obstacles so let's let's try like one last thing like if we change the robot uh, goal to something where it has to cross it like a narrow gap here and it will be highlighted as an obstacle for the robot like in the local map yeah as you can see now and yes and it was able to actually avoid uh, collision and reach our goal so uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and see you later.